Let us acknowledge God's loving presence here with us and let us worship our God who is present here. Thank God for all the activities of this day. All that what we have experienced in His love, let us give glory and honor and respect to God who is present in this most beautiful sacrament. So in silence, continue to worship and adore God through our hearts and our minds and using all our strength. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us surrender a personal life today, offering whatever that is going on in our minds and our hearts, offering the struggles and burdens of our life and life situations, offering our strength in Christ, and offering all that what we have received. Let us join with the choir, singing together and making a complete and total surrender at the feet of Jesus. Lord, you know me through and through. You know all that is going on in my life. 
after the day activities before i go for a good rest i surrender i surrender the totality of my life at your feet and help me strengthen me let us join with the choir singing together
Brothers and sisters, please take your comfortable position at this time. Let us meditate upon the monastic life. And when I read it out, let us reflect and pray together in the presence of the Lord. You must learn to renounce your own will in many things. Then only you can keep peace and concord with others. It is no small matter to live in a monastery or in a congregation and to get on therein without complaints and to persevere faithfully until death. Blessed is he who has there lived well and made a happy end. If you wish to act as you ought, make due progress. Look upon yourself as an exile and a pilgrim upon earth. You must become a fool for Christ's sake if you wish to lead a religious life. The habit contribute little but a change of manners and an entire mortification of the passions. Make a true religious. He who seeks any other things and not solely God and the salvation of his soul will find nothing but trouble and sorrow. He who seeks any other things and not solely God and the salvation of his soul will find nothing but trouble and sorrow. Neither can he long remain in peace who does not strive to be the least and subject to all. You came to serve, not to govern. Know that you are called to suffer and to labor, not to pass your time in idleness and empty talk. Here, then, men are tired as gold in the furnace. Here, no man can stand unless he be ready with all his heart to humble himself for the love of God. The members of each community should recall above everything else that by their profession of the evangelical counsels, that is, poverty, obedience, and chastity. They have given answers to a divine call to live for God alone, not only by dying to sin, but also by renouncing the whole world. 
a prayer. O oh Jesus, help us to practice interior mortification and true humility. Strengthen us to restrain and conquer ourselves and to endure all our trials and difficulties for your glory. Amen. Let us memorize this. You must learn to renounce your will in many things if you will keep peace and concord with others. Something very practical for each one of us this evening. If you wish to live in peace, humble yourself for the love of God. Let us take one or two minutes in silence and continue to pray and meditate upon a wonderful monastic and religious life. Let us intercede for the whole world. Remembering every single one who requested our prayers. All the prayer intentions and petitions we receive every day. as we specially offered for the entire health care department from different parts of the world, we pray for their mental health. As we know almost more than a year connected with the COVID, all that they experience, the doctors and nurses at their workplace, patients connected with COVID and their difficulties, Definitely it has got an impact on their mental health 
and that may influence their family life. We remember and pray for all the medical staff, health care departments, all those who are connected in the administration. All those who are admitted in the hospitals due to dog COVID. If anyone from our own families, please take their names and pray, especially at this time. People, those who are undergoing a lot of crisis due to this pandemic. Financial burdens, unemployment, poverty, and all other crises of their life. We remember all the prayer intentions we received at the Divine Retreat Center today through the various prayer requests and through the various online services. All the people who have visited this place today and all those who are worshipping God right now through Facebook and YouTube, your family and your intentions. Surrendering all our personal intentions, our parents and our siblings and our families, the departed members of our families. Kindly kneel down, let us sing together, down in adoration falling. us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
Let us do the divine praises together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Thank you. 